This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Time to find out what the Edgelord Hades has in store for us. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volner back here with another episode of God of War. In the last episode, we uh, had to sacrifice some warriors of our own, went to the, the ch uh, Challenge of Hades and other such things, so we're going to continue on to find Pandora's box. But anyway, we uh, opened up this statue thing, and inside, we can swim to the bottom to find a switch. A switch! Yes! A switch! Good thing Kratos doesn't need to breathe while swimming, technically. Although, why is he producing bubbles if he doesn't need to breathe via the Poseidon's, uh, you know, trident? I don't know. Magic, I guess. Magic, 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 magic. Alright, anyway, we formed a beam of light, so now we can go into that one room that uh, we couldn't access before because it was too dark. But anyway, I found out you can actually get up to here, but for whatever reason, I've just been doing really poorly on my jump, uh, jumping. So let's see if I can actually get it now. I was I was trying to play test this to get to. Yeah, the game is wanting me to not like jump on this little thing here, and I need a little bit of extra boost to actually make it. Let's try it. There we go. Either that, I'm just really bad at jumping. But anyway, yeah, we find a red orbs chest, which, hey, I'll need when I finally boost up that one magic. So, but yeah, I finally was able to get to it. So, <laughs> yeah, it took me a few tries. I was like, man, I had to look it up. I was like, I swear you could get to that. And everyone's like, yeah, just jump up there. I'm like, ugh, great, thanks. Anyway, let's point this ray of light in the one direction we need. Indiana Jones, eat your heart out. <laughs> All right, let's head on in. So let's make a heavy save here. Now let's see, what's my... Oh, this one. Make my beginning of the episode save. All right, let's head on in. Oh, let's see, how's my... Uh, we're not going to come back this way, so let's go ahead and... Actually, let me go ahead and grab that health uh, chest that's back this way. That I didn't grab. Uh, that should be enough. I mean, it's always enough. Those chests are, for the most part, meant to heal you completely, if I recall. Magic-wise, it's different for whatever reason. They don't. Not all boxes do enough to heal you, so. Oh, oh god. Well then. Hmm. Uh, this is gonna be tough. Well, maybe not tough per se is the word, but uh, a bit of a challenge. Now we just have to see if we can open these doors. Hmm. Ooh, ah, dang it. <laughs> I tried to roll into it, but it wouldn't let me, so. Yeah, it's supposed to give you a hot second to, like, you know, breathe while you, uh. That probably took too long, that one, yeah. I know some of them have something inside them. Ah. Not a very good, uh... Yeah, I'm not getting enough time to do that. Whoa. Let me try one of these others instead. See if I can get to them. Whew. There we go. I could swear one of these uh, have a... Um, have something inside of them, but maybe not. Like some of them have like red orbs or something. Because it's not that hard to avoid these things. It's just trying to, if you want to try to get through those doors. Well, let's just make it to the end. Why don't we mess with it later? There we go. Alright, let's grab some orbs while we're here. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, got hit there. 
You're not gonna come in and fight me. No siree. No, oh, nope. Anyone else wanna try? No? Okay. Grab some orbs. More orbs and more orbs. Eight dead ends. One way out. Will you find it before the flames of Hades consume you? Pathos, Verides, the third, chief architect and oil subject of the gods. Great. Oh, and there was a there was a search bar when you uh, looked at Hades like thing. It just said it looks like the face of Hades. By the way. All right. Let's see. Look over there. Nope. nope it's not. Oh dang it! Oh, I'm actually surprised I flipped through that. There must be like a little window of uh, invulnerability. Oh, pfft. I didn't even think I was close enough for that one. So. No, nope, not that one. I guess that's good that the fir the closest one isn't uh, a uh, danger. Let's see if we can try this door right here. Ah, I think I took too long. Oh. Nope, not in this one. I actually don't remember which door initially had had the uh, had the exit. Try this. Eh, eh. Whoa, that one didn't give me enough time at all. Let's try past this one. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. <laughs> all right. We can we can keep trying this. Ah, oh, there's the one over there. Nope, not that one. Oof. Ouch. Verides, you jerk. Why don't you just make one of the doors available to open? Why don't you make it easy? There's another one right there. Yeah, sometimes the uh the rolling variables are uh, a bit weird. There we go. There's the door. Unfortunately, I've have I've had so much damage done to me. So hopefully we'll find a. I mean, I could go back to that one area and uh, oh, there's a door right there. So. Whoop! Whoa. Holy crap! The uh, graphics. Uh, Something that's happened with the uh, uh, graphics setup in this place. I don't know why. It's insane. I have no idea what to do with that, actually. It must be something to do with like uh, one of the layers or some of that scripting layers or something that's causing it to not like to uh, mess with itself. So, oh, there's finally. And that's what that's what I get for using this type of setup, you know. I said getting my old system, my old system to record and set up is a little bit more annoying than doing this, so that's why I do this instead. So. Oh come on now. There we go. Yeah, still suffering from that. The circle won't work sometimes, you know. Eat this, eat it. Yeah, there you go. Guys, sometimes it hurts my arm to press the button so many times. Yeah, it should be one more, right? Yeah. I did see you guys there. Oh, I didn't know he's charging at me. Whoa. Oh, dude. I was like, didn't see him flip over there for a second. Nope, not getting me. Oh, there we go. All right, last big guy, and then the uh, and then the one archer, and we'll be done with this little section. All right, one more guy. Light the 
blood gurgle when they when they die. You know, nice touch. All right, done with that. Where does this take us? Oh, we got another uh, rope area. And then let's see where that area we actually destroyed. Let's see. Do I need that right now? Not really. I think I'm pretty lucky with those. Let's see. That'll probably kill me if I jump down there. Oop. Ouch. Gotta get on track there for a second. Yeah, I've noticed using the Hercules attack is pretty, pretty solid uh, move to use for a lot of enemies, just because of how strong it is overall. All right, I guess the only reason to go over here is to get that chest. I don't see anything else that I can grab. It's not that I can see. At least I don't notice anything, so we can go back. So I, and I don't need that chest, so all right, we can skip that. All right, I guess it's to the... Well, I guess going in there to destroy the archers so I don't have to deal with them, I guess is another reason to go in there so I don't have to worry about them shooting me the whole time, so... Just kick them off. Kick, kick, kick. It is a little easier to kick them off, I've noticed. You just don't have the range, so... Prefer that instead. Looks like uh, Kratos didn't skip leg day, which is good. They're like, don't let him get over there. I'm like, you're gonna let me get over there. Although it does look like you get more orbs if you don't if you sl slash them off instead of kicking them off. So, good to know. Yeah. The only problem with the Hercules attack is that uh, blocking during it is not uh, not feasible. I mean, you can do it. It's just, you know, no one uh, when to hit in the cycle to do it, so sometimes I get lucky. There we go. I get a little better. You'd think I would be a master at this by now, but no. Sometimes it takes me a hot minute to really master the controls of anything, and even then, I only play this, like, so many times a week, you know. Oh, right. Oh, we got centaurs back again. Maybe I should try, uh, ow. I should try using magic just to help me do a little extra damage. It's not as effective just because, you know, I'm not a, I'm not I didn't power it up, so huh. Goodbye, Centaur. Don't block all my attacks, you. How dare you? He charges for quite a while, when you think about it. Yeah, see how solid the uh, attack is? It usually knocks him back and all this other stuff. So... Maybe not the best attack, but it's pretty good, I think. The only problem with doing that is it, it does... I do rely on it sometimes. Four damage instead. <laughs> All right, bye. Threw him into the brink. I did. Oh well. I'm not trying to max out all my spells and everything anyway. At some point, there are certain abilities. I'll just. Yeah, I should have used magic because that's a blue blue chest right there. So. Let's see. Any obvious spots for orbs? Like you can jump off to grab. Doesn't look like it. All right. Onward we go. What's this place? Oop. Now just some orbs, huh? Well, I mean, it's not just orbs. It's our life force. It's the ability to improve our power, do more damage, or do more cool things, anyway. Ooh. Yeah, more orbs. see uh, safe spot so we're next destination uh, 
Let's go and save there. Whoops. No. There we go. I don't know why I uh, did that, so. Ah, lava. Awesome. Oh boy. Let's wait for the next one to go around. Then we'll continue on. Don't you love these parts? Uh, if you if you love like platforming with this type of stuff going on, oh, you'll love later levels. Oh boy, Let's, there's a couple there's a couple levels in this game that are super frustrating to go through. With it has a similar situation to this. It is well fun in a way, I guess, but not really. Whoa! Let's wait till. Let's wait till that trap of death goes around. Alright. Let's see what's over here. Orbs. Orbs is is is. Luckily you don't automatically fall off, you always get to grab it, so there's that. An okay amount of orbs. Better than nothing, I guess. Make up for the ones I missed when I knocked like Minotaurs off the edge and stuff like that. Looks like we got a healing chest. Nope, another red chest. Oh. Whoa. Just trying to oh, keep uh, jumping to the point of falling off. There you go. I guess you could technically also fall off to... Uh, um, so you wouldn't get hit by those things, you know. Grab the thing, but that's not as effective as you'd think it would be. And more small amount of orbs. Like 50 or something like that. Luckily all you have to do is just jump over these guys. As far as uh, Kratos can keep his footing after jumping like that. Well. Well, I thought I would grab the edge of it while doing that, but no. I jumped too far. I wonder if I can... Yeah. Yeah, now that I know better, now I can just... Yeah, the game's not going to like make you climb all the way back up there. They're just like, dude, let's just take it to a checkpoint. You're technically dead. Even though Kratos has suffered worse. But... Now, if you are really good at jumping and stuff like that, you could bypass a lot of this... Um, a lot of this trap. Like, if you know the right jump spots or can make enough momentum, but... But unfortunately, like what happened with me before... If that if you're not careful and you like shift yourself way too much, you'll fall off the edge and uh, have to do it all over again. I mean, it's not the worst thing, so. In this case, I'll just slow and steady it, even though I. I oh, oh! Well then, I thought I made that, so. Alright, one more time and then we'll do a uh, one where I just do it off screen, so. Oh. Uh, that doesn't count. I wonder how many death times I've died in this game. <laughs> Probably a few, I bet. Actually, most of the deaths I've had weren't from, like, damage. It's from, like, uh, environment. You know, like, like either failing a QTE or, uh, or something like that. But not actually like, dying via the fighting mechanics, you know. I mean, obviously, if I was playing, like, a Spartan mode or, um, God mode or whatever, or is it? No, maybe it's hero mode. I'm thinking of, um, which is basically hard mode and challenging mode, basically. But if I was playing God mode, I'd probably be dying like all the time. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't even finish this game on God mode, mainly because uh, the final levels of the game, they were super frustrating on God mode, mainly because of how much damage you take and everything with that. Okay, there we go. The main reason I'm afraid to like move this controller forward is the this this specific controller I use has a, a wonky analog, so sometimes it'll it'll drift every once in a while if I'm not careful. So I try not to. Uh, so I try to be a bit more careful with it. So. Oh no! Now I have to wait till it, the good one comes back around again. Just waiting, just watching Kratos do his little dance. There we go. Alright. 
Not quite done, but we're still here. So we got a chest over there. Unfortunately, I have no control over the camera, so. Looks like there's a spot we can jump at, but we need to activate it or something, that little platform there. Get back to that later. Don't mess with me like that game. Having Kratos like shift like that makes me think I'm uh, um, I'm doing it wrong or something like that, even though I'm still in the middle. Maybe they did that on purpose. Down this way. And a chest. That's nothing else. Nothing I can obviously get to. So, all right. Let's go back. We have a, like a little rope thing we can uh, go to, which is over this way. Just want to get that random chest, so. Alright. I mean, there's probably something I missed there, like treasure wise, but. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Oh yeah, remember that guy from Wild, or remember that door? Well, there's something behind it. And some people find this, uh, well, let's just say people, some people find this encounter quite annoying, so depending on how you do it anyway, so, whoa. Can you jump back up? Oh, you can if you really wanted to. Not that I need to, but good to know, I guess. This opens up into that. Save there, but oh, I was actually gonna grab that health chest, but uh, well, that's fine. Whatever, I can do this without it. And we can't go back now, so whoops. Oh well. And there's the other. Yep, we can't go back that way too. So yeah, we gotta let we gotta release whatever's on there. Release the beast. How do we do that? Remember this thing? No, maybe not quite. Maybe I have to actually go to it. Maybe I jumped. I jumped the gun a little bit, maybe. All right, fine. Let's check the door then. One of, only one of us escaping this maze for boss time against the, the metal minotaur himself. Now, most people, the way you're supposed to fight this fight initially is you're supposed to, like, fight him on the um, ground uh, because it's supposed to be easier. But I'm not... Well, it's supposed to be... The mechanic of it is you're supposed to... Uh, well, you do enough damage to him, and then you hit him with this thing. But if he's not aware, he'll... Uh, yeah, the danger part is he does the whole... Uh, like causes fire and stuff like that to form but I don't know most people tend to have an easier time fighting his uh, um, fighting him on the top there oh, I, I guess I have to do more damage to him so yeah basically what we do is you have to do a bunch of damage to him and then I could block your attacks real easily.
Oh, whoops, should have, uh... <laughs> yeah, he, like, if he grabs you, he, he forces you back down here to fight him. But like I said, most people tend to find it easier to fight him up here instead of down there. So that's what I'm going to do, so... Nope, not quite. Can't quite do the... Ah. Of course, it doesn't hurt that I like have a maxed out weapon and everything, so... Oh, took him too. Maybe I should have hit him with the, uh, the uh, s um, spike or whatever. Oh, just reset. If you do it, it just reset him. <laughs> That's interesting. But anyway. Let's see if I can get to him sooner or not. There you go. Rotate the left analog stick to match on screen prompts. One per, per, per prompt. Let's see if I can do it properly. I just have to calm down in this case. Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm just making sure I actually do it properly. All right, hopefully I get there in time. Gotta hit him with that uh, that uh, thing. Right, come on. Got him. Does it work? Did we do it fast enough? All right, now we gotta do it probably one more time or something like that. Maybe I should've just blocked, oh well. Let's see if that's enough to have him do it again or not. Yep. Oh, nope. I guess I have to do it a few more times. Sorry, I don't remember every single intricity uh, of this fight, you know what I mean? Okay, that's, uh, oh, uh, nope. Not quite, not quite. I guess maybe like one more turn or something like that. Yeah, I guess just, I guess it's just better to block that, that type of attack. I'll just wait until he does the, oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Well, it's not like I'm taking a ton of damage, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's because fighting him down on the bottom just has, like, too many annoyances to do, like, dodging flames and all this other stuff. Well, that's got to be it. No? Huh. I guess I'm a really bad guess guesser of, uh, of things. There we go. I guess I just have to wait for all of his vents to... Oh, come on, man. That was good enough. I was fast enough. Oh. The circle still went for a hot minute. Huh. Wait, it's still there. I think that's not supposed to be there. I think that's a glitch. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, he's. It's not. Yeah, it's glitched. It's not supposed to stay there after you. After he gets back up. I think it's because I was about to start it, and so the game left it in there. Although I think that might be like a, a graphical glitch from the way I've got this set up. So, so don't blame the game. If some graphical glitches happen, you know, don't blame the game for that. So. I don't know if uh, doing the roll is faster. It always feels like it's faster, so I'm just going to say it is. So 
Sounds like we got like one more roll to go, so. Cause we're hitting the, we're hitting the, we've broken off his arm piece. So, ooh. I don't know how he got knocked off that thing. Cause yeah, like I fell off it when he got knocked over. So that was a little bit weird. Now in this case, I know when I need to keep fighting him because uh, that little uh, you can see that he doesn't actually have a health bar there it's like an armor piece so we're trying to we're trying to get to his a uh, gooey center of a Tootsie Pop here you know or his creamy nougat of, of deliciousness now and it should be like one or two more goes before we're good this fight's a little little long when you think about it like compared to other other fights in this game. Now we see the Minotaur's true form. Now just take all the hits here. Yeah, no knocking him back anymore with his armor and everything, so. So we just have to hit him bar none, do all the damage to him, so. I'm actually surprised when I actually dodge, do the rollback fast enough to actually dodge his attacks. No annoying thing is, yeah, him doing that. Did he eat me? I th yeah, I think he puts you in his mouth and then and then snorts you out or something like that, like, you know, crack cocaine or something like that. There's been songs made about that, right? What does it go? Uh, something, something, cocaine, da na na na. Hey, I, I grew up with those songs, but it doesn't mean I remember all the lyrics. I mean, when those songs came out, I don't, I didn't grow up with them. I grew up with them later, you know what I mean? When you have a household that listens to classic rock and stuff like that. Almost done. Yep. Let's finish him off. I guess the stakes were too high for you, huh? Nice. Got a decent amount of orbs for that. All right, and the Minotaur is dead. Yeah, that's the King Minotaur, or Head Minotaur, whatever you want to call it, so. He yeah, has blood or whatever that is. The already uh, rotten carcass of the Temple's Minotaur hangs above you. Ew. But anyway, onwards. Yeah, that's just how this game is. You know, you, you do that and then you're like, well, I'm done. Anyway. Hades, your challenge was nothing, except I died a few times due to the trap, so, eh, all right. Maybe, maybe there's something. Maybe they're more impressive than I thought. Then we go up the long stairway to heaven. Stairway to heaven. Doo -doo. All right. Now what awaits us? Ooh. But since we'll probably never be back in this room. Oh, I don't actually need the chest because we got everything from the Minotaur when he died. So I don't really have to turn open those anyway. So Yeah, no no reason to actually do that. Any other things we can... Nope, I guess not. All right. My second son, my last, has followed his brother to the Elysium Fields. In my heart, I know I must continue the work of the gods. But they take so much, and at last my soul begins to doubt. Pathos Verides the third. Yeah, it's like any job. After a while, you kind of get tired of it, so let's see what's in here. Well, I mean, we know it's in there. You know what I mean. Oh, right. Here we 
Require the architect's son's head, the second son's head, so. Ugh. And now we are done. Now we head we now we head back. What if you could just drop straight down? Hmm. Probably not. Probably would kill you if you do that, so. Yeah, you're like, why is there a safe spot like for that important part there? Well, maybe you want to take a break. You know what I mean? Because this is before the days of auto saves and stuff like that, so you had to you had to manually choose when to save. So. What the? Now we get the final power after all this time. This is what it does. It yeah, all right. Well, let's see what the final magic spell of the game has is. Lord Hades. Your progress is impressive, Kratos. But your skills will not carry you to your ultimate goal. I offer you the souls of Hades itself. The souls of the dead. Who stand ready to fight by your side. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. We get the final uh, spell of the game, or ability, or whatever you call it, the Army of Hades. Probably one of the better abilities in the game, just because of what it does. Press up on the directional button and select the Army of Hades and press L2 to activate. I mean, all the abilities are good. It's just I like I like the I like the ability of Hades. Yeah, it summons. Um, what it does, it summons the uh, souls of the dead to attack uh, enemies for you. So while you're dealing with some other dudes, the souls will be for like a few seconds or whatever would be doing damage to the other uh, um, monsters. So and you can, you know, combo them while they're doing it too. So. Yeah, like I said, this is probably one of my more favorite abilities because, like, it, it's really good for groups. I mean, if you've been having trouble with groups, this makes it a lot easier, so. Yeah, this was the spell I was waiting to, uh, waiting to charge up because I find this one more useful, especially for a very specific part in the game. And for those know what scene I'm talking about that you need, uh, would need that for so yeah now we can beef up the army of Hades so let's do that I mean really uh, the spells are situational like some work better than others I just like the army of Hades overall in general so let's power up the, this to the next level all right more powerful souls yeah pretty much you just do the souls just do more damage every time so yeah that's what I was waiting for so uh, let's see, just health, huh? Nope, I need magic, but oh well. All right, now that we're done with this section, now time to go back, because there was that that one door that needed another head as well. Man, it's kind of a messed up dungeon when you need to sacrifice your own children. You got an Isaac situation, Abraham Isaac over here, guy. You want to get the biblical terms? I'd almost like it. I mean, I know a lot of people would find this sacrilegious. I'd almost want to see. Maybe not a God of War game, but something similar into the vein of Christian mythology. Um, instead of, uh, you know, something like, you know, a lot of people use, like, a, a Greek mythology and all this other stuff, but I know why they don't do it. Because it doesn't really let itself up that well to it. I mean, technically the Shin Megami series does something like that if you want something that comes close to it without being, like, super graphic when it comes to, like, violence and stuff like that more mental violence but anyway now that we got the second son's head it's now time for us to enter deeper into the pandora's castle what will we find inside we'll find out next time in the next episode of god of war thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time